internet, she loves you, my name's Cody, and this is the Christian News Show we do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with geeksundergrace.com. So if you want to stay up to date on everything Christian and everything geek, make sure that you check us out there, because it's awesome. And our first story of the day is celebrity news, and it's about Shia LaBeouf, which, yes, I, I am not that bad with names, it's okay. Shia LaBeouf. You may or may not know that he went uh, crazy for a little while, it seemed. He got caught with plagiarism, so he plagiarized an apology to apologize for the plagiarism. And then he started wearing masks to premieres, saying that he was no longer famous. Well, and what I hope is the end to all of that is a statement that he released claiming that he is now a Christian. Saying, and quote, I became a Christian man, and not in an expletive, expletive kind of way, but in a real way. And I am happy for him. I love when celebrities become Christians, especially when they use their clout for their faith. He could potentially influence a lot of people, so just make sure you keep your prayers out for him. You know, he's very new in his faith, apparently, and hopefully that we get to see him grow as a Christian. And from that, I did want to talk about a shooting that happened on Parliament Hill in Canada. A soldier there was shot to death by a man who had recently converted to Islam. The shooter then went into Parliament, started shooting the guards that were there, and the guards put him down. The man who was shot was Corporal Nathan Cirillo. He was known for being a great father in his smile which are definitely not things to be shot for. Officials say that the shooter did have ties to jihadists, which means that it's just another example of Islamic terrorism. And it definitely seems like that is growing. And with that, we go to the final story of the day. Since we're talking about Islamic terrorism, we talk about ISIS again. And I've brought it up a few times that I don't think the airstrikes are really doing all that much, but I haven't actually seen any numbers. But an update out of Syria has come out kind of explaining what the U.S. is actually doing with these airstrikes. 521 Islamic terrorists have been killed, which, I mean, that's a pretty high number. Out of those 521, 464 of them have been ISIS militants, and the other 57 being Al-Qaeda. And so when you look at those numbers, the United States is obviously doing something. Though it's definitely kind of bothersome to me that that many people have been killed, yet ISIS is still able to bring out 15 different attacks at the same time. I mean, most of these airstrikes are targeted at higher authorities, and so if they've killed that many people, how many other people are still in leadership within ISIS? There's also another number that Syria has given out, and that is number 32, which is how many civilians have been killed with these US airstrikes. And 32 doesn't seem like very much, especially when you put it up to the number 521, but you have to remember that these are civilians. I mean, these are innocent people. So I guess my point to that is that the whole Islamic State thing is still a mess and it still needs prayers. I know in the news it's starting to die down and become not as important, but it, it still is important. And to forget that a genocide is happening is definitely not something that we want to do. And from that we go to the question of the day, and the question of the day today is what do you think about all of these airstrikes the United States is doing? Do you think they're right? They're wrong? Are we doing too much? Are we doing not enough? How would you handle the situation? I want to know what you guys have to say. I'm just curious what you guys think about all of this. So please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. Make sure you check out geeksundergrace.com. My name is Cody Harper, bringing Christian news in a not-so-boring kind of way every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray. And to everybody like subscribe, I will see you later, and God bless.